how to grow your sales exponentially using CRM tool. Hi guys, I'm Kevil Kishan India's leading business automation coach. And every other day, business owners keep coming to me and they share their concern that Kevil, we are getting inquiries, but we are not able to convert those inquiries into paid customers. Well, sales is the oxygen of every business. And if sales is down, then you cannot invest the money in research, in hiring more teams and in scaling your business. In this tutorial, you are going to learn on how a CRM tool help you to collect inquiries, help you to track it and it help you to give the right dashboard, right report through which you can analyze on how many inquiries are in each and every stage and how much business have you converted. So let's get started. Now, before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's totally worth it. Every week we are bringing valuable lessons to help you grow your business. Okay, so let's firstly discuss on how do you grow your sales exponentially. Here, the secret is you need to manage your inquiries and you need to take the follow-ups so that you can convert the qualified inquiries into customers. And understand out of operations, team, you know, finance, all other departments, the most important department is sales. Do you agree on this? Tell me how much time do you spend on managing or doing sales in your company? Is it one hour, two hour, three hour? Now, if you want to grow your sales, what do you need? You need more inquiries in your business. For example, if you're getting 100 inquiries and if you're getting five customers from it, then it means your conversion ratio is 5%. So to grow sales, firstly, you need to focus on more inquiries, maybe instead of 100 inquiries, how can you get 150 inquiries? But then you need to focus on increasing your conversion ratio as well. Instead of just converting five customers from 100 inquiries, can you, can you convert 10 customers? Can you double your conversion? But wait, here is where most of the business owners go wrong in this approach. Now, what are you doing with your existing leads? You might be getting inquiries from uh, India Mart, from Facebook, from WhatsApp, from YouTube, from referrals. Are you converting all of your inquiries? Now, tell me right now that when you get an inquiry on WhatsApp or on Facebook or on email, do you actually track the status that, okay, uh, this inquiry is pending, this inquiry, uh, you have sent the proposal, now you need to take the follow-up, this inquiry is pending for its meeting. And are you taking the consistent follow-up? Do you know this guy, Grant Cardone? He says, when you take first follow-up, the conversion rate chances are only 2%. On second follow-up, it increases to 3%. 80% conversion can be done in between 5th and 12th follow-up. Now, I know you are not taking those many follow-ups. Yes or no? So keep watching the lesson and you will discover what you need to do to grow your sales. Now, do you know how many of the qualified inquiries you are likely to convert. Well, out of 100 inquiries, if you get every month, maybe you are converting five inquiries. But maybe you could convert five or 10 more inquiries, but you could not because you did not take the proper follow-ups. And after a couple of follow-ups, you found that, okay, this client is not responding much. And then you stopped calling them. You stopped sending automated WhatsApp. And what is the loss? You are dealing deals worth lakhs of rupees. And this was happening with us as well. We were ignorant of taking any follow-ups. We used to get inquiry, we used to take in Excel, we used to note it down in Excel files. And we were reluctant that we will not take one or two follow-ups. We will not take more than that. And because of which, because we were dealing in B2B business, our clients, they used to reach out to us after three months. Their high cable, we had raised an inquiry three months back. We got busy. Can we discuss this once again? And then it got me into thinking that if client is remembering me and he has get back to me after three months, it means if you know it's my duty to stay in touch with client rather than client's duty to remember me as a vendor. Because imagine if client loses your number or email address, then they'll not be able to reach out to you. And what they do, they will search out on Google and find another vendor. So what we used to do, we used to note down all the inquiries into diaries or Excel files send the contact to my teammates and then I used to forget about it. I used to believe in my team that my team is superb. They are great people. They can take all the follow-ups. Although there's no doubt my team is good. But then I needed a dashboard. I had no report to actually check how many inquiries we have, 
how many inquiries my team is meeting this week how many inquiries my team has called this week no analysis at all before i show you the solution tell me are you making the same mistake yes or no let's talk about the solution now now here is what we did because of which we started closing more inquiries or rather than before we literally doubled our closure rate so we started tracking all our leads okay so when you talk about growing your sales start capturing all inquiries at one place okay so you might be getting inquiry from linkedin youtube india mart referral capture them and then categorize them how many inquiries are coming from bni how many inquiries are coming from referral right categorize them in terms of the source in terms of which teammate is handling them in terms of uh, city if you're having pan india business or if you're based out of other country if you have multiple cities business or categorize them in terms of what product or service they need and then have a follow-up tracker through which you can track how many follow-ups you or your team is taking and you should have a google sheet where your team can input uh, whether they're taking the follow-up or not and in the follow-up what is the next step now this is just uh, three steps which looks really easy on the screen but what is the real solution behind it the solution is this firstly you need to have a lead capturing form right so i have added this on my mobile home screen so if i open my mobile and show it to you you can see on my mobile i've got four purple icons now one of the form is task delegation form through which i delegate the task another is networking form through which whenever i meet somebody i fill the form and that person gets brochure and automated whatsapp message third is the crm form which i was talking about right yes so you need a lead capturing form where whenever you get a lead you immediately fill it adding the name of the client company name what is the requirement and then you can choose here which teammate you want to delegate the lead okay and then let me even show you i'll show you some sample as well of this uh, even let me just take a minute and show you and this is how the report looks like let me just show you here so imagine this is your lead form which you can customize according to your requirement okay and this is where you can this seems closed let me show you here so you have salesperson right which teammate you want to delegate this uh, inquiry to right and then you add the client name client company client email address their other details and then which source you got this inquiry from and this can be even automated when you get inquiry from facebook it can directly go to google sheet for that you you need to use softwares like pably or zapier in our uh, automation program where in eight weeks we automate your business we have a detailed training on how can you use pably and zapier to automate various processes and then here you add your requirement your estimated value of the client you can upload any file or any requirement document and then you delegate it to your teammate so when you delegate to your teammate what happens your teammate gets a whatsapp notification right salesperson is notified do you have any teammates one two five or maybe if you don't have you are your own teammate so when you fill the form you get a whatsapp notification now we all know that you are using whatsapp for your family for your day-to-day -day work but imagine if you start using whatsapp for your business it takes the business to the next level and in the report which you get in google sheet you are able to categorize as well that okay the inquiry which you have given to your teammate uh which inquiry is at lead stage which inquiry is at qualified stage which inquiry is at waiting for payment stage which inquiry has given you the purchase order which inquiry you know has, has like has gone to another vendor and how do you how does your team do it they have a follow up tracker where any inquiry which comes to them it goes to their google sheet where they have an option of adding the call to action okay do they need to make a call do they need to have a meeting they add the follow up date and time and in just one click they are able to schedule you know the google calendar like automatically google calendar gets scheduled 
and let me show you all the details step by step. Uh, on their Google Calendar, they get notified that okay, on this date, on this time, they need to follow from this particular client. So let's go deeper into it and understand step by step what features a CRM must have. First of all, you can you should have feature and ability of assigning the inquiry to yourself or to your teammate. Well, that can be done using Google Form. Your teammates should be able to view their inquiries. So here in this dashboard, your teammate can choose themselves. For example, here, this teammate has chosen himself from this drop down and can have a complete analysis on how many prospects are there, how many inquiries are not qualified, how many inquiries have given the purchase order, right? And overall, what is the total business that he or she has, right? So complete analysis is coming here. So if I choose all teammates, it is giving a complete detail of how many inquiries are in the negotiation stage, how many inquiries are in the law stage, how many inquiries are in the no deal, like bond stage. This is a simple dashboard. That's the reason you see there are a few fields empty as well, right? Then a feature should be there where you should be able to send follow up reminder as well. For example, this is a report which is coming from the CRM tool, right? Giving you a list of all the inquiries and how many inquiries are pending, how many inquiries are closed, how many inquiries are not qualified, right? Then here in the setting sheet of CRM, you can categorize, right? How many sources do you want to define? And these sources will come on the Google form dropdown. For example, you want to have BNI as a source, you want to have a referral as a source. How many industries of client you want to work with? Here you add all the teammates and automatically each and every teammate will have their own Google sheet where they will get the inquiry once you delegate it to them. On the G column, you can add all these stages like qualified, not qualified, prospect, right? So automatically, your each and every teammate gets their own Google Sheet, right? Which is connected to the CRM. For example, here I was talking about you're delegating the inquiry to your teammate, right? So whichever client you delegate to them, it goes to their particular Google Sheet, right? And then they have the option of importing more inquiries from either the India Mart or from other CRM from, you know, Gmail or from other sources. For example, this is one of the teammates inquiry uh, sheet, right, where he has an option of changing the status from this drop down. Currently, it is lead. And if he clicks on it, he can make this to qualified or prospect or meeting or other stage as well. And salesperson can even send the WhatsApp and email reminders to the inquiries using this sheet. So each and every salesperson has got this particular CRM where they can change the status and automatically that inquiry goes to that particular Google sheet. Okay. For example, this particular Google sheet is called lead. And then if he changes status and make it to meeting, it will go to the meeting sheet. And then the best part is the ability of sending the WhatsApp follow up messages directly to the client from his particular Google sheet. Right. And I call that CRM the best CRM, which is the capability of creating the quotation as well. So in our CRM, which we provide to our business automation students, for which, by the way, you're wondering, well, how do I become your student? For that, just check out the description of this video. There is a link called cable.co slash live. Click on that, register for my upcoming business automation masterclass. In two hours, you will discover how can you automate your entire business processes and get freedom from day to day firefighting with your teammates, with your clients, with your sales, right? And using Google Form, Google Sheets and WhatsApp automation. In this CRM, you are able to create automatically quotation as well. And then here, this is a salesperson follow-up reminder sheet where your teammate chooses the client, what is the reason for the follow-up and automatically those follow-ups get scheduled onto your employees Google Calendar, right? How do they categorize? For example, Tanmay has this particular sheet where he can choose, okay, this inquiry is qualified, this inquiry is not qualified. He just click on categorize and automatically the inquiry of the qualified will remain in qualified sheet. The not qualified inquiry will go to the not qualified sheet. You can see here the difference, right? Here, I'll just go to the previous sheet. There were two inquiries, L2 and L3. L2 was in qualified, L3 was not qualified. When he clicked on categorize, the not qualified, which is L3, went to the not qualified sheet. And this L2 remained in the qualified sheet. 
So that's how your teammate can categorize and can go to that particular sheet. For example, if you want to go to the follow-up sheet, you will see all the inquiries which you need to take the follow-up. If you go to the not qualified sheet, he can have a list of all the inquiries which are not qualified. And you as a business owner have a complete analysis on how many inquiries are in prospects, how many inquiries are not qualified, how many inquiries are qualified. Before we go further, understand that without analysis, you cannot grow your sales. A business without CRM is like a car without engine. I'm repeating it. A business without CRM is like a car without engine. And a car without a dashboard, analysis dashboard, you know, does not give you the direction. It does not tell you how much fuel is left. And the same way, a CRM without analytical dashboard, you know, it will just help you track inquiries, but it will never tell you what specific steps you need to take to convert those inquiries into business. So using this CRM dashboard, you can even get the follow-ups, right? For example, here you can choose any particular teammate and you can track here how many inquiries this person has taken from this client and when did he take the follow-up? Did he call the client? Did he email the client? Right? Everything is getting tracked in this dashboard, right? And you as a business owner can track everything at one master sheet and you can even choose the client and you can have a list of all the follow-ups taken by that employee. So you get the complete history of that follow-up. So what is the next step, right? This is a system which has helped more than 3,500 business owners by India on automating their business. In fact, one of our students, Vikash, she says that I have created a CRM report from the CRM tool and lead analysis is helping me grow my business, right? So the next step is for you to attend my upcoming masterclass. Check out the link given in the description and attend the class and discover how can you also organize your business on Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Drive. How can you also automate your sales process and double your conversion and double your sales because growing your sales is not difficult once you use scientific proven tools like CRM, right? And then how do you solve other challenges related to your operations and your team management as well? By the way, tell me in the comment box, what is your industry? What are other challenges that you're face facing? I'll be open to create more tutorials for you in upcoming weeks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you love this video. If you want to specifically implement this tool, attend my upcoming masterclass. That is where you will discover how can you become part of our business automation program and how can we help you implement this one-to-one -one basis. Looking forward to automate your business. Take care. Bye-bye.